slide kill. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. What? Ow! Did I ever tell you guys the, the Thomas the Tank Engine story from Six Flags? So Six Flags, uh, they had a contract with Thomas the Tank Engine, so they had a Thomas World. One of the most awkward costumes, I mean characters to help with, was the conductor, Sir Topham Hatt. Sir Topham Hatt looks like a big, awkward fucking Lego man. And at Six Flags, he is enormous. Inside that costume, you can't hear shit because it's so fucking big and dumpy. One of my friends was helping, I mean, playing Sir Topham Hatt, and the kid looks at Sir Topham Hatt dead in the eyes and says, are you gonna hurt me? Because the person inside Sir Topham Hatt couldn't hear, just see him go, <laughs> probably one of my favorite stories from Six Flags ever. That kid probably to this day still remembers that one moment. Are you gonna hurt me? <laughs> How did they know that that's what the kid said? Because uh, the costume characters have helpers. Any character that has a full uh, can't see, they need to have um, an escort, somebody who works in the entertainment department, to escort them around and make sure that they get back to where they need to go. If there is a problem, they can let them know and then they can escort them back. The escort apparently saw the- Oh my god, dude. Turn my- Are you gonna hurt me? Step Banjo, are you gonna hurt me? Why would she ask that? You mean the kid? Kids ask weird stuff, man. Was the mask terrifying? Oh my god. Search fucking Six Flags Sir Topham Hat. You tell me. What if that kid is in the chat? I hope so, so that they can know that the person helping out with that character that day, they couldn't hear anything. I am so sorry for all the trauma and all the therapy you've had to go through. Does <laughs> Sir Topham Hat fuck? Probably. He looks like he has a family, so he probably fucked. He probably fucked once. <laughs> once. Sir Topham Hat had three wives? What a fucking Chad. Sir Topham Chad. Sir Topham Harem. Oh my god. I really I really hate that. Like, just practicing stuff. Patrick is great. <gasps> what? It's a new friend. We have a new friend? Well, we will. Well, first of all, that's him. Oh, yeah, dude. I love him. His name is Fluffy Wash. Fluffy Wash? W-O-S-H. Fluffy Wash. I will always be here for a hug. Fluffy Wash is here in the form of an adorable plush. Standing at eight inches tall, he will watch over you in glorious peace. We all have anxiety and fears sometimes. The patience of Fluffy Wash with his arms crossed as he patiently waits reminds us that whatever happens in life will always pass. And then it's got a quote from Aristotle. The grass will always grow again. Take a deep breath and enjoy the warm embrace of Fluffy Wash. Imagine you come home after a long day, and as the thoughts of tomorrow make you anxious, thoughts of the past <laughs> fill you with regret. An escape you crave is nowhere in Seven sight. minutes. All right. As you open your bedroom to winter. You see him so gracefully sitting there, patiently waiting for your return, as if you've never left. <laughs> Pick him up towards your cheek, this warm fuzzy, familiar feeling as if he understood all your problems without speaking a single word. Adriana's crying. She's crying real tears. Are we getting him? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. I, I, oh well, my god. No, 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 no. Okay. They're, 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 they're different sizes. She showed, she showed me this one, which is like, <laughs> like a, I was like, whoa! whoa! There's the normal size ones and then the big extra large mm -hmm. boy. You have to have like a lot of attention to detail to be a... Uh, Please, please, daddy. Oh my god, he pretends like he does not see me. Come down. Come down here. Get down here right now this instant! You are stuck in the tree, bitch! I hate this. Oh, okay. All right, who wants to kill me? Somebody end my fucking life. Hello. I'm like, Mr. Meeseeks. It's weird being alive this long! It's getting weird! Perfect, perfect, perfect races. Yeah, now we own your wife. Sorry, dude. Don't worry, I'm gonna treat her better than you did. Fucking sleeping all over the place. Literally can't be woken up unless you have a fucking sled dropped on your face. It's not about the presents that make the kids happy. It's that I come and I be a real father to those children, which is what they need. Take your fucking material possessions. Ah, yes. Look at me, kids. I'm your new daddy. Don't you love me? And now I'm going to fuck your mom as a walrus. Your poppy's too busy being a cuck. Yuck, you want to do some beach shit? You got to come down to San Diego. Hang out. Yeah, yeah, there's a pandemic. Yeah, but the beaches are safe. Beaches aren't safe, dude. The crony lives in the sand, creeps up through the fucking gravel, crawls up your leg, and slaps you in the face like a bee. <laughs> What? 
Why did it sound like that? Why did the sea moo? <laughs> Why did I fly through the air? <laughs> the moo was a cheat code starter? Oh shit, I didn't know that. I haven't done that in forever. I didn't even know. I've never watched childbirth. We had to watch childbirth for um, child development in high school. It's not that bad. You just realize that humans don't look like humans when they're born. Movies will make you think that humans look like these perfectly cute little fucking like Gerber babies, like right out of the fucking womb, but now they look like lizard dinosaurs. Like every single birth I've ever seen in a video that was like legitimate, I have been convinced that it needs to go back in because it's not done yet. Oh yeah, it's super unsanitary. We, we were talking about how like pretty much certain that if you have a baby, you will shit yourself. I don't think people really realize that. If you're a daddy and you're watching your significant other give birth to a baby, she's probably also gonna give birth to a shit. <laughs> Twins? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was legitimately funny. <laughs> Twins? No, I mean, I'm just saying, like, yeah, it makes sense. People, like, are, are, like, brought up to believe it's, like, this magical, like, sanitary thing. Like, the baby just fucking bobs out like a slip and slide. It's like, and it's like, oh, there's the baby right out of the oven. Slip and slide, wee. Don't hit me, Dad. Is that Womp's little brother? You know, I, it wasn't until just now, Nabil, that I just finally realized that, yes, they are just literally just Womps, aren't they? Your wife's giving birth, and you're like, Ur -ur. Imagine, like, squeezing a fucking thwomp out of your vagina. Thwomp is just like a fucking square BLJ on your wife, yeah. That's what happens when you give birth, your baby just BLJs out. A birthing long jump. <laughs> Birthless. That's what a C-section is. Instead of coming out of the mommy's vagina, they cut a big old hole in her stomach and pull you out by your smooth-ass fucking unbirthed brain and just throw you against the wall, slap your ass a few times, cut off your fucking umbilical cord and say, all right, welcome to planet Earth. Now pay your taxes. What if the mom wants to share herself? Then fine, just do it after the C-section. <laughs> I, it wasn't funny, but I still laughed at it's not a c-section. It's DiGiorno. <laughs> that was not funny But it was also very funny. You should be proud of yourself for that one. It's not c-section delivery. It's DiGiorno <laughs> Christ how to find purpose in your life. Oh my god. All right. Yeah I mean figure out what positive balance you can bring to the universe that you are good at that you enjoy doing Maximize your life to bring positivity to the universe that right now is very much balanced in negativity It's not 42. You guys don't even know what that fucking means. I guarantee you, you guys like everyone who's like oh, 42 You guys think it's like a random number. There's actually a philosophical meaning behind 42 being the meaning of life Yeah, it's hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy, but yeah, but why is 42? I'll, I'll fucking explain it. It's kind of like a shit input equals shit output the question of like What's the meaning of life is just such a stupid fucking question. It's just too unspecific and too out there that like you get a fucking garbage answer for asking such a garbage question. It's 42 because it's probably technically a correct answer to some form of what is the meaning of life. What is the meaning of life for the equation 40 plus two? 42. That's the meaning of life for that equation. The idea is you have to be more specific with that question. It's too broad. It's kind of like, I want to get better at guitar. And then you sit down and you fucking play Van Halen's Eruption for the 20 millionth time. And then you're like, wow, why didn't I get any better? Well, it's because you didn't do anything specifically to get better at it. Meaning of life needs a more specific question. What is the meaning of life somebody to the most important thing that exists? And to me, that would be the universe. The universe homes all of us. And for a lot of us, it might be God. It might be all sorts of stuff. The universe is so filled with negativity right now. There's so many beautiful and dark things that like, I feel like it's always balancing itself out. Energy never goes away. It just gets transferred and everything always has an equal and opposite reaction. So I feel like in a world with too much chaos, you need to bring order into it. And in a world with too much order, you need to bring chaos into it. I feel like there's too much chaos right now, personally. So I would say your meaning in life is to bring more positivity to this universe so that we can better balance it out until it's all too much order, too much positivity, and then shake it up a bit. That's my philosophical belief from a 100% banjo speedrunner. Order and chaos. Well, order and chaos doesn't equal good and evil. I think it's horseshit to think that those two are the same thing. Good and evil is, is an oversimplification. Order and chaos is something completely different. Order and chaos is a structure at which to be able to describe the very complex nature of the dichotomy of the universe. It's all supposed to be symbolic and, and uh, guidelines at which to move forward. It just exists without any sort of definition. Well, I mean, that's an opinion. I feel like you're stating it as if it's fact, but to say that the universe is definite and finite I think is is an opinion when in fact there's a lot of different theories based on educational estimations and everything that the universe is not definite the universe is expanding I like to believe that the universe is expanding four dimensionally based on the stuff that I've learned and I could be wrong but I feel like that's just my opinion you know not to say that I, I, I don't respect your opinion that order and chaos is horseshit I'm just saying that like yeah I, I think in a way you're right I think if you end it there and just say like oh it's all order and chaos yin yang haha <laughs> it's a little bit more complicated than that but I think 
it's a good starting point. I hate it when people say like things like that's that's horseshit. You know what I mean? Like it's just like, well, I think there's something to say there. You know, I don't think it's absolute bullshit. I I think it's dismissive to kind of like look away from it. It's just the Freudian like everyone wants to fuck their mom. Well, no, but hold on, there's probably some psychology somewhere around there. It's just that's not. Hold on. <laughs> Freud was the first stepmom porn advocate. Is Freud mom's hot? We don't- wait, could, does somebody have a picture of Freud's mom? That could explain everything. Step Freud, what are you doing? Somebody get a fucking picture of Freud's mom up in here. How did I go through all the psychology I learned and not think about that? Looks like a woman from the Dark Ages. Fuck yeah. That means she's into the dark shit. Do you think Freud's mom was proud of- <laughs> His research. Why do I have to delete my history while watching a family jewel stream? Nah, it's educational to know what fucking Freud's mom looks like. Who would ever think that that's weird? Uh, uh. I feel like that's kind of like, it depends on the context. Like, what, what are your other searches? Zygmunt's mom has got it going on. Oh, that is sexual. That was 100% one guy in another guy. I'm happy for them, but not what I wanted to see. You do that on your own time. You are on the clock. We got a dock, but not in that way. In uniform, no less. God damn. <laughs> in the Navy. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Go, 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 I don't want to do it. All right. Bye, guys. Ah! I hate this fucking game sometimes, man.